Every few decades, an aviation company emerges with disruptive technology so important and customer demand so strong. It doesn't just disrupt the market, it redefines the industry. In the helicopter industry, that revolution has already begun. For drones to deliver on the promise of automating dozens of industries for hundreds of applications around the world, first they have to fly beyond line of sight, just like a helicopter. Unfortunately, without the proper safety gear on board and collision avoidance, they just pose too much of a danger to manned air traffic. The FAA can never allow that to happen. So how do you solve this problem? Capture the majority of customers in the marketplace and become a dominant leader in the industry? You build a real aircraft that the FAA will certify and take it to market with well-known aviation partners. AVA is the first unmanned aircraft built to be fully certified by the FAA. Every part of AVA was engineered to meet or exceed existing FAA safety protocols. That means Olaris won't be limited by the new rules that restrict drones and UAV companies. Olaris is so far ahead of anything else that's in the toy drone business. I mean, this is actually going to be a certified aircraft, and that's what we were looking at and thinking about as we were helping with the design. All of AVA's components are made by the same aviation partners who manufacture parts for Boeing, Bell, Airbus, and Sikorsky. So AVA already complies with existing FAA safety regulations required of all aircraft. AVA also carries the same avionics on board that commercial aircraft use. This makes her the first aircraft of this type that can fly beyond line of sight, just like helicopters. If you want to work with a helicopter, you always have to focus on the cost. So having a product coming that is going to be reliable based on the industry or technology of the aviation industry is going to make a big difference. From a financial perspective, what really attracts me to this venture is the ability to bring a number of cost-benefit models into play in a mature industry. I have 25 years of experience in the helicopter world, both civil and military, and I've never seen anything like an AVA. Real commercial viability, and at a fraction of the cost of the helicopter. AVA carries an array of sensors that automatically detect and avoid flight path obstacles, faster and better than a human pilot. There's always a certified pilot in command, but without the burden of flying a complex helicopter, the pilot can focus more attention on safety and mission objectives. So it's no surprise the FAA is enthusiastic about AVA. I find it unprecedented that we are getting so much customer validation by early adopters in a mature industry. We're already collecting millions of dollars into escrow accounts, which represent 50 million in hardware sales uh, at this point, but also uh, tens of millions of service contracts that will go along with those sales. It's the only thing in the marketplace that actually can integrate with existing traffic and be able to avoid existing hazards out there and still make a safe mission. This aircraft is so much safer, so much more economical, that you're, you'll be able to fly it over crowds and buildings and places with that, that margin of safety that they're going to demand that this has. I'm very excited about getting into the AVA industry because it's going to make a difference because you're bringing more solutions to the people that are facing cost problems. I'm excited for my customers that are in the particularly pipeline and power line inspection, how they can reduce their costs significantly and I think have a far better performing product. This sets up our ability to create a billion dollar company, which is precisely what a venture company should be. Now, if we're telling you this much in a public forum, imagine how much more is hidden behind the scenes. Want to learn more? Ask. And we'll show you that unicorns really can fly. <laughs>